becomes a little bit unintuitive when we have to change around the structure of our entities, right? Not every entity is going to have a position of velocity acceleration. What happens if we need to store wool is rock? What happens if we need to store a name on some of them? What happens if we have to store flammability? Well, the idea behind the entity component system is we take this idea of instead of having arrays of structures, having structures of arrays, and makes it generic. Well, how do we do that? Well, we start making what are called components. So struct components. So we might have a position component, which is a vec3 pause. We'll put that in the right spot. We might have a velocity component, vec3 pause. And now our entity just becomes a stud vector of, compo of stud vector of components data. There is one more bit we would need. So we have a bunch of components, right? So we have C1, C2, pause, right? And so we have data, 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 data. Well, now we need what's called an entity. And an entity becomes a row in all this data. So we can go, and an entity is just an index, right? So our entity here would be zero. Then our entity here might be one and so on. So we have an entity that indexes into this array of components. And entities can just be using entity equals some integer. 